Hey guys, it's your boy Macho HD here, returning with another squad builder today. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be one of two I'm going to upload today, depending on if I get 50 subscribers before 12 o'clock tonight, so that shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it's only two subscribers after all. Um, shout outs and thumbs ups and subscriptions, etc. On t even shout outs on Twitter would be fabulous. I mean, I'd appreciate it hugely. Um, anyway, today's squad builder is going to be of the England national side. Um, not the most foreign or creative or skilly team in the world, but you know, there's not, it's no Brazil, but it's a very solid squad nonetheless. Here we go. We're going to start in goal, obviously, with uh, Mr. Manchester City himself, Joe Hart. I mean, who else would it be? Forster, Foster, both of those not on this guy's level. Joe Hart has 85 diving, 86 reflexes, 76 handling, 79 positioning, and kicking with 59 speed, but. There we go, acrobatic, acrobatic save technique, so he can fly over the goal to save save you in any game, any circumstances. You can rely on this guy to keep you in the game, and that's what keepers are for. So that's 3,000 coins well spent if you uh, invested in there, guys. Just like to apologise for the camera lighting. It's not my fault, it's the iPhone 5. I'm recording off that today, and I will be doing that up until Christmas, where I shall be getting Elgato Gaming Gear, which will... Uh, Enable me to make much better videos and top quality recordings for you guys. So um, in the new year, 1st of January, videos will be brilliant. Times will get better. So uh, keep it with me, guys. Make sure to subscribe and um, things will get better, trust me. Anyway, centre-backs. We have gone for Tim Cahill. What a centre-back, in my opinion. He is probably one of the best, if not the best, centre-back in the game. I will actually... There are a few contenders for the best, but he's so good, guys. 74 pace, 84 defense, and 76 physicality. Absolute brute. What a unit at the back. You couldn't have asked for a better English centre-back. Chris Smalling, his partner here. Not a huge fan because he's a Manchester United, and it's just natural for a Manchester City fan to hate Manchester United deeply within. <laughs> just that's what it is guys I mean this what comes with supporting Manchester City for so long anyway small 78 pace that's purely the reason we got him 80 defence 74 physicality doesn't look too special does he but we've gone for pace in the end so fuck it there you go Chris Smalling right back pure pace yet again Kyle Walker I mean no introduction needed you probably come up against this guy one in every seven or eight teams everywhere he's everywhere I mean it, Pisses me off the amount of time as I have against him. 91 pace, 76 defense, 80 physicality. What's has a decent pass, 71 on him. Um, high attacking work rate, that can cost you sometimes. But if you want that overlap, you you need that high attacking work rate really. 6,000 coins, a bit on the bit on the expensive side for a right back. But if you want a cheaper option, you could go for Michael Richards. But he's seriously been downgraded and this FIFA compared to previous FIFA's, I mean, last FIFA was so bad. Left back, we've gone for Ashley Cole, uh, uh, Michael Richards' compatriot in Serie A. 73 pace, he's nothing brilliant, i got to admit. He's not what he was on FIFA 14. But nonetheless, solid set, left back. Um, Kieran Gibbs might be your preferred option if you want more pace, but I like Ashley Cole in left back, just a matter of opinion, really. Okay, centre mids in the... Here a roll, we have Jack Wilshire and Ross Barkley of Everton. Okay, let's start with uh, let's start with Barkley. 70s all around the board. 54 defending though, that's a bit of a letdown. Um, but the passing weak foot compensates for that. He has such a brilliant pass on him, especially with both feet. You can just LB Y over the top, boom. Striker through on goal. Can't reveal him yet, but. You probably, you guys probably know who he is anyway. Um, you could go for Gerrard if you want more of a defensively minded player, but I prefer Barkley, my opinion. Yet again, Wilshire, same-ish player, three star weak foot, three star skill, so he doesn't have the five star weak foot of uh, Barkley, but does the job of centre mid. What you want to do, distribute the ball well, find the players up front so they can score the goals. He does that, and sometimes he even contributes to the uh, to the goal scoring. 84 dribbling, very good dribble on the ball. I mean, yeah, you could get players like Lampard, but he's a bit on the slow side, isn't he? Let's be honest. Even as a City fan, I had to admit Wilshire's better on the game. 
Centre attack and mid, Mr. Nobhead himself, Wayne Rooney. 86 rated, but what a player he is, guys. Can't actually fault him. 87 shot, 87 physicality. He's just a unit. I mean, I recommend getting him. Purely on the base of his stats, not because of the club. 44,000 coins. It's going to... If you're on a budget, that's going to damage it badly, but should be able to afford it because this team is, around, is under 100k, guys. So... There you go, you should have 100k by now because the game's been out a while. So, Wayne Rooney, centre attack and mid, high high, so you'll track back, track forward, and score your few goals. Very good centre attack and mid. Left wing, we've gone for a bit of a shocker here. Uh, Matt Jarvis, yes, we have gone for Mr. Matt Jarvis of West Ham. High attack and work rate, low defensive work rate. Um, five star weak foot and 87 pace, so 74 passing. Boom, that's it. Weak foot and pace have sold me there. Whip the ball into the striker, head it. It's not zero power, there's FIFA 14, but if he gets in the space, he will score. He's a very clinical striker, I don't know. But Jarvis, very cheap alternative to, you know, well, he's not cheaper, but he's a good alternative to uh, the likes of Ashley Young or Rodriguez for Southampton, say. But I prefer Jarvis, guys. Oh, not right mid. We're not going for uh, we're not going for the likes of Theo Walcott in this uh, right mid position. We're going to go for his brother Oxley Chamberlain, his Arsenal brother. Um, the Ox, 89 pace, 84 dribbling, high attack and work rate, four star weak foot and skill moves. Very good shot on him, very good physical attribute and pass on him. What you want on a on a winger, obviously, you want him to whip the ball in or get to the byline and then whip the ball in. So I can't stress. Well. He's pretty average, I have to admit, but he's the right winger, does the job, gets the balls in or plays it back into Wayne Rooney to uh, knock it in. So you could either get Walcott or you could get some over, other overpowered prick, but I don't like the idea of having that much sweat on my team, it just disgusts me. <laughs> Oxlade Chamberlain, there you go, everyone. Okay, striker, you probably guessed it, guys. One and only, Mr. Liverpool, one man team. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Storage, there we go. We all know how good storage is in real life, guys. Shame about injuries and etc. But that's what is costing Liverpool by the looks of things. He's no Suarez, but he does score the goals for Liverpool. He, I think he's storage in the top 10 most prolific strikers in Premier League history, along with like Aguero and um, Jeffrey, believe it or not. So um, that's not bad, to be honest. But the injuries have haunted him, really. 89 pace. That's just entices you straight away. 82 shot, 81 dribbling. This is the best part though. Four star skill moves and low defensive work rate. That's what you want in the striker really. He's so much more better he's so much better than the likes of Balotelli for Liverpool. Balotelli's just lazy, low, low work rate. Shocking. Daniel Sturridge, six foot. He can head a ball, like I said, from the wingers, they'll cross it in and he will score. Because Daniel Sturridge is a fucking monster. He will score, he will head, he will shoot, he's clinical. He's also a bit of a unit up front, so I also, I, I'd recommend getting him. 28k, I see, 27k. Set you back a little bit, but overall this team should be under 100k if you get the right, if you get the bargains in there, guys. Um, sorry about that, guys, my footage cut out. So, um, yeah, there we go. That's the England national national team. Um, I'll be doing another one later on for 50 subs, shout outs, likes, etc. on Twitter and whatever social platform you're on. would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe for more awesome content in the future. The new year is going to be a good one, guys, so stay tuned. Okay, Match HD out. Cheers, guys. Ciao.